know you have waited a long time uh, so far uh, for the intermission to come up, so I'll try to make this as brief as I can, but I, I have to talk a certain amount of time in order to keep this trophy here. Uh, there are five people that I'd like to recognize who have been so helpful to me over the years, getting me started in playing jazz music in Cincinnati for over half a century now. The first person I'd like to thank is Carmen de Leon. Though he's associated with the Cincinnati ba Ballet, I've always thought of Carmen as a jazz drummer. And way back in the late 60s, when I first came to town, I didn't know anybody in Cincinnati or any of the musicians. And Carmen invited me to play on a band he was organizing, one of the first versions of the studio big band. It was a great band. I learned uh, a lot about big band playing and, and enjoyed meeting all of these great musicians from Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. Realized how, what a high level it was that they played on. And uh, the band rehearsed on Sunday mornings at the old Playboy Club downtown. They rehearsed on Sunday mornings. I'm sure that at least most of the band just stayed up Saturday night and then just came down to the Playboy Club. It was a strange time to, to rehearse, but it was a wonderful band. The second person I'd like to recognize is the late Frank Brown, who's also in the Hall of Fame. Frank recommended me to Woody Herman in the 70s uh, for a short tour through the Midwest, various colleges and dances and concerts with his big band. And um, it was a wonderful band, exciting, but the most exciting thing about Woody's band happened the first night that I joined the band. It was kind of late in the day, and the band manager said, we don't have your, your uniform altered yet, but uh, the, the jacket's okay, it was a, a snazzy leisure suit. But he, she, he said, the pants are a little bit big, there's just one button, but we're, you put this safety pin on, and that'll be okay for tonight, and then we'll get it altered tomorrow. I said, oh, great, I was thinking about playing with Woody. You know. So well, the concert starts up, we get halfway through, and there's a big baritone solo. I'm standing up and playing on this flag wherever it called Four Brothers. And I'm just thinking, what a great thing this is, playing on Woody's band. And as I'm playing, I can feel my pants slowly working down my leg. Now, I had always thought from a jazz standpoint that I needed more nation, national exposure, <laughs> but that's not what I had in mind. That's why it was so exciting that, that day. The third person I'd like to recognize is bassist Frank Proto, who was organizing an, a version of the, the symphony jazz ensemble that he had started a long time ago. He had, originally it was a quintet, and he added uh, horns and, and a four-person rhythm section. It was an octet. Everybody in the band seemed to be named Frank. Um, Frank Proto was the, the leader, and Frank Brown was a wonderful trumpet player I've already mentioned was on the band, and a wonderful piano player, Frank Vincent, was there. And uh, it was just one of, I thought I was going to have to change my name to Frank Dixon just to get on the band, you know. But I didn't have to. It didn't work out that way. However, I just remembered in rehearsals, you just never said, hey, Frank, or everything just came to a, a, a complete stop, you know. Um, fourth, I'd like to th thank Mike Andres, who is so helpful to me over the years. Uh, through his efforts, he hooked me up with the Cincinnati Symphony, and back in 1970, I made my first uh, major recording on DECA with the Cincinnati Symphony, playing a piece that, that uh, um, wonderful piano player with Paul Desmond, Dave Rubeck had written, how soon we, we forget. Brubeck was on the recording. And as a result of that uh, recording, I developed a relationship with the Cincinnati Pops that was just starting out. And uh, as Nick might have mentioned, uh, I played with the Pops for 30 years through 2000, ending in a nice uh, program in Carnegie Hall with Doc Severinsen, by the way. And finally, and maybe the most important person I should mention, is the late John Van Olen. Uh, back in 1980, he and trumpet player Don Johnson 
had the idea for a rehearsal band, and John invited me to play the baritone saxophone with the band. We thought that it would last for a couple of months, and we could play every week in a jazz club in Cincinnati over in Bryan Novell, and it would be fun to do for two months. Well, the, the, it turned out it lasted for 40 years, and uh, the Bluest Big Band has played virtually every Wednesday night, every, every week for over 40 years, and I've been very lucky to play on that band, and they play some of my arrangements. Um, so that's pretty much it. I am, um, I did, I did kind of forget Dave Rubeck's name, and not, not to, to uh, shortchange him. But there's one person that I could never forget, and that is my beautiful wife of half a century, Melissa Eckhart Dixon. I just want to say one sentence about my wife, who's been probably my biggest supporter and an encourager. Uh, Melissa has always heard the song in my heart, and she sings it to me if I forget. Thank you very much for coming today. Bye-bye.